You know what we haven't done in a while? What? We haven't grilled anything for a while. We haven't. And it's 750 degrees outside. So it's perfect grilling weather. So we don't well, we don't want to get you. the kitchen too hot. Yeah. We do have to crank the oven up in a minute. Yeah. Now this is a flat iron steak. And when we do this, we usually do a couple. I've got a flank steak in there right now that's right. been marinating for six or seven hours. But let's talk about our marinade for our, now this is a smaller flat iron steak. Again, I've got a two pound yeah. um, flank steak in the refrigerator right now. Because I'm starving. Because she's starving. Okay. Let's go ahead and take our bag. And we're just gonna do this in a bag. We'll just mush it all together. We're gonna take about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons, depending on how sweet you want it. I like that salty, sweet I do too. comparison. We're gonna do a half a cup of soy sauce. That brown sugar is so wonderful. It is. We're gonna take some sesame oil. That's good stuff too. Oh, that is. I'm probably about a tablespoon and a half. I think it was a tablespoon and a half. And I like my Bangkok peanut sauce and just about everything. Put some of that in there. It's got a little ginger in it. Now we're gonna take some red pepper flakes, just a pinch, and we don't wanna burn it up. Bit. But you want that, you want that little bit of heat. Oh yeah. Just that little bit of heat. Now Mrs. Farmer, if you will, Let's take uh, some garlic and just okay. chop it up a little bit and a little bit of ginger. Let's we'll grab some right. ginger in there if you don't mind. We always keep fresh ginger around. It is so absolutely delicious. Oh, it is. I ate three garlic cloves. Yep. I didn't cut them up just a little enough to break them down. Oh, yeah. And you got to have that garlic. And how much ginger do you think this is? That's probably a good teaspoon. Okay. And one more thing, a little bit of white wine. We're gonna take that and we're gonna mush it all up, make sure it's all together. And we're gonna take this. Now we can put a little salt on this, but, but the soy is probably gonna cover that. Now when you're cooking it, you could actually put a little salt and pepper on that. And this is just enough for a couple people tomorrow. For me. Now, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we could eat that. I know now we we're gonna leave this whole. Now when you serve it, after we cook it, and you don't wanna cook it to death because it's, you know, it's a little bit of a tough cut of meat. Yeah. You don't wanna cook it till it's shoe leather. Just either side about five minutes on a pretty yeah. warm surface. And then you want to cut it against the grain. Make sure you cut it against the grain. We're going to pop that in, in the, the fridge. fridge. We're about to go grilling. All right. How's that smell? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> now, we're going to pull this guy out. Now, this is obviously a larger piece of meat than what we had earlier. But again, Ooh, I'm starving too, it's perfect. Can you smell that? <laughs> I can. Now, again, the grain runs as such. So now, this piece of meat weighs about two pounds. Can you smell that? I can, it smells good already. All right, let's go to the grill. So what we're gonna do is put it on a hot grill. Okay. We're gonna put it on, probably three or four minutes. We're gonna turn it over, probably two or three minutes. Back and forth, total tops is 10 minutes. Okay. I want to make sure that we have just a little bit of red on the interior. Oh, wow. <laughs> 10 minutes. Should I try a piece to make sure? So what we're going to do <laughs> is cut some little thin slices. Now let's pull this aside. I'm going to show you this. Now this is considered a fairly tough piece of steak. Mm -hmm. Less than 10 minutes, about nine, nine and a half minutes. Watch this. With a fork. With a fork. Wow. Look, that's no fluke. Boom. Got one, Miss Farmer. I know I need it. Mmm. 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 